Hi, I'm Misha here, and it's another Gun of the Day episode, an informal series where we take 5-10 minutes just to chat about a gun that we either randomly wanted to talk about or just were working with and decided to to show. This is not a in-depth or research. For that, we usually have longer videos in the playlist. And today, have my South Korean Daewoo. K2, or rather, this is the Max 2, Max II version. These semi-autos were imported under those two names, and also AR100 towards the end. This is a pre band These were brought over roughly between 1985 and 1989. And then post ban until 1997 is the DR200. And uh, had it out as I was putting a sling on it. <laughs> Probably a year ago now, I picked up some South Korean military slings. Been meaning to stick one on the gun. Felt like doing it. So, said I'd record this video. It is basically a copy of the late M1 Grand, M14, and early. M16 sling. Now typically you would have this metal buckle with it, but not using it because the sling is plenty long and I didn't want it to rattle and also bang up against the furniture or metal. This has standard a AR type sling swivels. It takes standard AR mags. It takes a very similar trigger group to an AR-15. And of course it fires 5.56, 223. Originally these had a 1 in 12 twist, later ones could have a 1 in 7, and then still later ones went back to 1 in 12 for imports. It does have a folding stock, has a A1 looking pistol grip, although it's different, a storage compartment in it, like an FAL. It's own unique pattern of sights, it does have a receiver, Drilled and tapped already for a scope mount, a rail. So front sight, we have an adjustable gas system. The standard rifle here has an 18-inch barrel. Screw-on flash hider. Standard AR-style bayo lug. It does have a spot where you can put a clip-on bipod. And the K2 is the one most people are familiar with. This is the one that has the long stroke, so AK style gas piston, which is why it's able to have folding stock. Fixed charging handle, it does reciprocate. Also, last round hold open. A lot of the other internals besides the gas piston and recoil system are very AR-15 style. That's because Daewoo manufactured the Colt M16A1 under license. They also borrowed from the FNC and FAL and even a little bit from the G3. They, they pretty much just took the best of everything. It's the K1 or K1A or K1A1 that was the direct impingement little carbine. So, not all Daewoo's are gas piston. The, the K1 types are direct impingement. For a long time, these were respected by those who owned them, but they were kind of sleeper guns. The pre-bands could still be had for not a whole lot over a thousand up until just a couple of years ago. Now today, they're getting a lot of attention and ju jumped up, but they are excellent guns. Very reliable, very good quality, and surprisingly, they're very durable. They have very durable furniture and uh, very durable finish. You can find a lot of AR-15s like the SB-1, AR-180s, and other guns from the 70s and 80s that have cracked polymer, or even worn phosphating, parkerization. But the Daewoo seems to hold up real well. And these are real combat guns. In South Korea, 
their military was serious and they still use these today and that can really that's a testament to just what a good design it is so yeah I just thought this would be a good gun of the day video one that I'm always happy to talk about one I just pull out of the safe on occasion just to fondle because it's a really neat gun if you'd like to hear more about the history and see some range footage we have a couple of different videos in the playlist including a very special tribute to Kim Jong-un we did a few years back it involves cows but yeah we appreciate you tuning in to these little informal snippets kind of little hangouts any questions or comments please post them below and if you could like share subscribe and if you'd like to help support us check out the link to our patreon page this is Misha and we'll catch you very soon next time